Do we still know how to make massive tech unboxing videos, you guys? Do you still remember? <laughs> <laughs> how's, that, how's that intro go? <laughs> What's going on guys, it's your average consumer and today we've got another massive tech unboxing. This one's 51, isn't that wild? Like 50 was this whole big thing and then we haven't made another massive tech in like ages. But now it's back, uh, you, we took a little break since uh, this one popped out a kid huh. and uh, life's been upside down, but we're kind of back. So today we have. Like you said, kind of. No promises. <laughs> We're kind of back because we still struggle it out here, you guys. <laughs> but of course, you guys know the deal. Grab your snacks, grab your drinks, because we got a lot of tech to open up. Now, first pick goes to today's sponsor, Roborock. <laughs> this right here, you guys, is their new. Dyad Pro. So check it out guys, this is the Dyad Pro. And like I said, you probably know Roborock from their cool smart robot vacuums, but sometimes you just wanna take matters into your own hands and this lets you do just that with that Roborock tech. So we're looking at not only a hand vacuum, but it also has a built-in mop so you can get the functionality of both built into one. And this thing has an interesting multi-roller cleaning head with one full length roller and two rear rollers that rotate bi-directionally, meaning they can cover an area twice compared to single roller versions. And thanks to their Dirtect smart sensor, the Dyad Pro can even detect the levels of dirt on the floor and adjust the cleaning intensity automatically. So you've got this adaptive cleaning that lets you clean efficiently so you can use it for longer periods of time if you need to. It also allows you to clean edges up to one millimeter so getting those tight areas like corners and the wall edges will be a lot easier. And while cleaning floors can be easier with this, so can cleaning the Dyad Pro itself, since it has some pretty wild tech built into it that allows it to self clean using the two rollers and even has hot air self drying for when you're done using the mop. Of course, you know it's gonna have other cool features like app integration as well as voice integration among some other things. So if you guys are interested in learning more definitely check out the links down below in the description. This thing is pretty nuts. But I think that's gonna be great in the new studio so that we can go ahead and keep that place clean for once. Oh, it's not saying here? I want that for here. Should we, we, should, we should get one for here. Roborock. All these kids we have? <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong, Roborock, what's up? We need two. But all jokes aside, links are gonna be down below in the description. So now, we still got all this tech to open up, Ari. You gonna do the do the thing? Yeah, hold on. Ari's over here eating on the job, true. eating her chipotle. Come on now. All right, here we go. Here we go. Um, ooh, that one was taped back up. You saw it already. Oh <laughs> come on, Ari. <laughs> kidding. Okay, this one. Why don't we keep inviting her? <laughs> this is one of man. I got caught by Instagram, Instagram ads. <laughs> so check it out, you guys. This is a collab between Astro. You guys know Astro, they make the cool gaming headsets. Um, this is with Astro and Tim Buck 2. It's basically a pouch or, what's the official term for this? Messenger bag, right? right? Or sling? Sling, sling, sling's what I was looking for. I just didn't want anyone to say fanny pack. So this is a sling that they made that works with the Nintendo Switch. You can throw your switch inside of here. You can see it's got the slot for the Joy-Cons to go behind here. We got a whole row, two rows, for all of your Switch games. The quality on this thing is nice. And it's got a magnetic flap up front. So if you need quick access to whatever you want to put up here, chargers, other Joy-Cons, your keys, uh, you can kind of throw it in there. This is. Dope, I love this. I like the way it looks too. No one would think you could put a switch in Right? All right, what you think? Um, I would have liked a more neutral color for something wearable. A more neutral color? Like black. I think they have a black option. I Oh, so this is on you. I, I chose this. Got it, okay. Dom's right, no one would think a grown man is putting a switch in there. Wow, that's where we're <laughs> taking that comment? Dang! I agree, Dom. <laughs> All right, Jay, you're next. I'll do this one. Oh, Jay. <laughs> I like it. I don't know what's inside it. 
It's heavy. I like how just said, I don't know what's inside it though, because Ari called out this tape that's on top. <laughs> Ooh, this is something I picked up for you guys. Uh, you ever saw this before? It's a V-mount battery. A V-mount battery from I've, Small Rig? I've, I've seen this one before. Looks hey, Dom, you ever seen this one before? <laughs> I have not seen that. Before. Okay, well, I'm gonna talk to you then. <laughs> but no, this is supposed to be like a super clean V-mount battery that also has like a built-in screen so you can see the percentage. Oh, this thing is tiny. You've got the built-in screen. You can see just how much juice you've got left. So you know what? Can we just throw this on, throw it on our red right now? So we've got our big boy red over here and we can just throw Nice. That's clean? The red? Yeah. Okay. Whatever they don't <laughs> what if you wasted your money? <laughs> you have your ability to charge it here through DC, but you can charge it with USB-C as well. And you also have a USB-A. So if you want to charge another accessory, camera accessory, you can probably plug it in right here with all these uh, points up top. And you've got your D-tap over here on the side. And that's, that's pretty much it, but I think it looks really clean. It's a big battery and uh, it's convenient. But if you guys use that and it's like really good, let me know if we should get more, you know? We should get more. Dang, <laughs> Jay, Jay, Jay. She's like, I don't need to test it. Carl, yes, you are here. This long one right here. Ooh. Okay, so this is something I picked up from some company called High Ground. Oh. Mm -hmm. What so is this is... This better be as cool as you guys are hyping it up to be. Oh, it's so cool. I agree, Harry. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> All I said was it's from a company called High Ground, okay? <laughs> but Jay, I agree. It's really cool. Yeah, everything from them are cool. Oh, okay. <laughs> so oh. what we've got right here is a giant mouse pad, a super dope mouse pad with Gundam Wing, Wing Zero. Oh, and it's amazing. <laughs> oh, God, you look so cool. <laughs> It's so cool. We'll so it out, this company makes PC. Ex <laughs> just go. No, okay. just, just get out of here. Okay, I'll you can go too. <laughs> anyway, this company makes uh, PC accessories, mouse pads, all kinds of stuff in collaboration with some cool animes. They've done Attack on Titan, Gundam, and they've got some other cool ones as well. You know, I had to scoop up something Gundam related and a giant mouse pad like. Look at this. It's amazing. This is, I love this. This is really cool. You know, the things you find out about your spouse years and years later, I didn't know she was this much of a hater. Tell you guys. me about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep the packaging it came in too. That's, that's the, the cool. Yeah, the whole thing is cool, Carl. Dom, what do we got next, man? It smells like Jay. Yep. So first of all, what's this? This is? Uh, this is a Switch card holder. So it looks like a, a it's kind of, I, I got one for myself, so yeah, yeah, that's how much I like it. So. Let's see, let's. Cute, cute. Oh, so you could put, okay, so you could put two Nintendo yeah, yeah. Switch cards or games in here. That's cool. And then you just pop it up. Okay, my favorite games. Oh my God. Mario Kart. Zelda. You can throw it into a really cool fanny pack. Oh, fanny. Sorry, I mean sling. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's see. We got got two games in here. Just oh, oh, and they actually like <laughs> pop out. You know what would make this really nice if they had a if they had some kind of adhesive on here uh, yeah, to keep it stuck on a desk or something, and just tap it. That's a fun way to get your two Nintendo Switch games. All right, so that's that. Next up, we've got mouse base, and I can already see where we're going with this. We all know. The Apple Magic Mouse isn't the best design product that they've ever made. Uh, it's got that charging cable port at the bottom. It's not very ergonomic. So let's see, what do we got here? We throw the Magic Mouse right on top and then we have a standard feeling mouse. Somewhere to rest your palm as you're using it. Can you charge it while using it? No. You still can't charge it while using no, it? No, it's just for the ergonomic. <laughs> so if you've ever gotten hand cramps from using one of these Magic Mouse, maybe you bought one of the colored iMacs or something, and you just don't want to use the regular Magic Mouse the way it is, you know, these exist. Now it's my turn. Carl challenged us and said this was whack. So let's, let's see, is this even from the PO box? Or like, is this us? Okay, it's a portable charger. It's 
it's a really good one. Carl, fix your face. <laughs> it's 140 watt high speed input and output. Either way, this is a 24,000 milliamp hour battery in here. Listen, let me show you. It has a built in screen so you can see just how much juice you've got left here. This one has 15 percent. So when you plug something in here, you'll get all kinds of charging information. Uh, you can see how hot the actual charger gets. Uh, you can see the battery health of this thing. Those have two USB-C PD ports and a regular USB up top. And it's just overall really high quality, like the finish, everything is very nice. I do wish it had more ports, though. Like, you had all this space. But that's enough of that. Oh, oh. all right, before we get off that, we do have one more thing in a bag. Another bag. <laughs> you know, that bag was all right, right? This bag is not so much. Just a hard shell case to carry that thing. Oh my God. Did you get a scan again? Okay. <laughs> 737. This thing will not fit the 737. No. I got scammed, not even gonna lie. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what? They showed in on the Amazon page that this fits it. I mean, if you put it down here, it's supposed to fit it snugly. Like the whole thing was just supposed to be right. They got me twice. <laughs> All right, this one says fragile. Oh, this is from YouTube. Okay, YouTube shopping. So I did some stuff with YouTube shopping. I don't know if you guys noticed, but like in this video, you'll see a bunch of products pop up on the actual video so you can purchase right here on YouTube. You don't have to go to an external site. I think that's cool. I can't wait till the day where that is completely fleshed out and it's just like a seamless experience. Oh, that's dope. Let me see. This is your average oh. consumer. You like Christmas gift? No, no, no. This is... Dang, I just told you where we got her from. Ari's not paying attention I'm at so all, sorry. you guys. <laughs> Ari is checked out. No, I'm buying pre-filled Easter eggs for Austin. She's buying Easter eggs for Austin. Yeah, no. she's checked out. <laughs> she's checked out. But check it out. Ooh. This is perfect for the new studio. Huge shout out to YouTube. This is amazing. We're just gonna leave it here for the rest of the video. This is from the P.O. Box. Let's see what's up. Oh, okay, it's a headset stand for the PSVR 2. You're right, it did have one for the controllers. It needed a base itself. So you can plug this in and you can see right here, it has USB type C adapters. Oh, these are magnetic, just like the dock that PlayStation sells. So if you know PlayStation sells, a dock where you throw these little adapters in. These are essentially the same thing. So you can throw one here, throw the other here, and bang, there you go. Now it's all set up. And let's just see what it looks like plugged in. And boom. Oh, nice. And there you have it. I like this. This is a really cool headset stand for the PSVR 2. All right, cool. Glad to have this. Of course, it'll be linked down below as well as everything else in this. Or it'll be embedded in this video, thanks to YouTube shopping. Bam. <clears throat> okay, okay, I got these. Uh, but this is the Hori Split Pad, the, the Split Pad Compact. I've been using the Split Pad Pro recently, but they came out with a more compact version since that one is kinda, kinda on the bulky side. And this is a smaller version. And it still has all the same functionality as the other one. So this is my Nintendo Switch OLED right here. I'm using the Hori Split Pad Pro Pokemon Edition with Lucario, Pikachu, you know? And you can already see right here the, the size difference. So we've got this little piece protruding. You don't really get that here. So it does definitely, it feels a lot smaller. Uh, you also get these extra buttons in the back. I was interested in trying this out since it's smaller. Only thing that sucks about this is there's no rumble feature. You don't feel the vibrations. Gonna miss, I miss that a lot when I'm using the Split Pad Pro. Uh, but yeah, this is cool. Now, this is something I picked up called the Cap Clip Pro. Obviously, it's a mouse but it's extremely compact. So this is pretty much the mouse. You got your scroll wheel, your two clickers over here, but you can always take it apart. Still use it like this. Oh, really? This is it, this is this is the mouse. This is everything that you need. So what's the back torch for? Ergonomics. 
<laughs> so your so your hand could have something to hold on to, but you can also store it oh, inside. That's cool. And you know, just clip it on your belt. There's a belt clip. I don't know why, but there's a clip. Stay strapped, right, Carl? <laughs> oh, oh, you need your cursor to move? I got you. <laughs> Does it have a dongle? Okay, so over here there's a flap. You can take it off, and so it's got micro USB, and you have a pairing button, so it uses Bluetooth. Ari, right, what you think? Oh, she's not like No, I, I was actually laughing at how you tried to act cool, and the next sentence was like, where's the dongle? Like, there's just no, nothing cool about any of that. <laughs> My mistake, right? I spoke to her. Where's that was dongle? that was the problem. Ari, you want to pick something? Yes, please. I'm going to go for the gray wrapped box. This gray bag? No, 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 no. The box. That's All right, <laughs> gray bag it is. God. So check it out, you guys. What we've got over here, I gotta show you how cool I am, for real, for real. You might be wondering, why are you showing a hoodie, Judd? Because it's amazing. What happened? It's extremely underwhelming. Wow. I thought you should have made it bigger. They are gonna like make something like that. Then that's too much. I think if like you're going it. to wear something like that, there's nothing too much. Just go oh, for it. <laughs> go all in. I disagree, Harry. I think this, this is, is the appropriate size. Big. Like, you just want to be able to see. Oh, is that oh, chairs are? Oh, that's tight. Too big is like, what are you doing? All right, all right, yeah. You might as well just have it all over <laughs> here. Make it a graphic tee, call it a day. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. You really bring the energy down, my girl. <laughs> Can you open mine now? The gray box. All right, Spigen. What you got? They did tell me they were sending something. They sent over a couple things. Oh, this is that uh, that case where you can, it kind of gives you the illusion of seeing through the phone. Oh, that looks super clean. Oh, they got this cryo arm. Check it out. That's hot. Lots of cool cases for the S23 Ultra. So we've got an OMAG ring magnetic phone holder, Samsung super fast charging, maximum 15 watts. Arc station, so this is a charger, 27 watts. Always happy to see really nice speaking cases. These two right here, absolute winner. All right guys, so baby's up, Austin's home. You know what that means. We lost Ari and somebody gave Carl the lab. We out here guys. <laughs> Let's open some more boxes. <laughs> Dom, you know what this is. This looks cool. So what they've got right here is like a pro PS5 controller. As you know, Sony already came out with the DualSense Edge controller. So Sony's got their own pro controller. Scuff makes a pro controller. And now we got this from uh, Victex. They make one too now. Should we do like a comparison video with all three? Like which is the best for your money? So this is it. This looks, uh, this looks just like the Astro. Man. It's a different company. It's a different company, yeah. So. <laughs> that's wild. The whole concept here is to be able to remove the plate in the front, swap around the joysticks and all that. That's what you got here too. Let's see, so we've got our paddles in the back. Look, I'm winded because I have to run upstairs. <laughs> Getting old. So you got your little paddles in the back. They're built-in buttons instead of actual paddles. So you got more face buttons. These are... I think those oh. replace the, the other stick. Let's just, let's just do it. So it comes with a Allen key, basically. But it's like a screwdriver. Now, you, one thing that's nice is you don't get this level of customization on Scuff or the uh, DualSense Edge. I do like the, the all going all in on the purple. So yeah, you know, when you're playing your fighting games, you could just, are these the hair trigger locks? So there's five stops to this. Oh, there, there we go. You got different D pads. So whatever you like, you can actually swap out this thing. You can adjust the height of your sticks. They got different options here. I love how all in they are with the purple. I think that's pretty cool. Oh, and there's an app too, so you can customize it even more. You also get this cable, the thick braided cable, USB-C to USB-A. It's nice packaging, I'll tell you that. It's also PS4 and PS5. Pack. That's pretty dope. So if you haven't found your PS5 yet, you know, you still <laughs> rocking the PS4, you can still cop this. But they're not out of stock anymore, right? Like nah, PS5s are readily available. They're like everywhere now. I think Target, GameStop, yeah. you could just buy it. Crazy it took this long. Yeah, yeah, just a few, just a few years, no big deal. Just a few years. 
Okay, so we've got another controller. Now this one's a little bit different because it's not like a Joy-Con where it's like two different sides. This is one like big case almost for those Smash Bro lovers out there. You got your little C-Stick. Now the buttons aren't exactly the same as like with a uh, GameCube controller. That's comfy though. Ooh, there's something weird about that. Like this, this feels like it's made to like just, you know, you flick it. Like that's what, how you played it with the uh, GameCube. It's, it's a very weird sensation for my thumb. Here, Dom, you give it a shot. And it's kind of stiff. Right? It's, it's, I think for Smash, it'll probably be fine because that because of the way you'll use it but for an adventure game like pokemon i would not want to keep turning my camera around uh using that Let's do this box next it's a fancy box oh beats so these are the beats fit pro you've seen me talk about these for a while now uh they came out with three new colors uh and this is the blue version so let's take a look so these are it i've been rocking the white and red ones but the blue looks pretty clean Oh, is this, are the colors not gonna show up on this? Let's see. That's a small detail with Apple that I like. They usually have like the colors and whatnot. But this is all, it's just showing as a black one. Boom, here you have them. Blue Beats Fit Pro. If you haven't seen my review of these, I have it linked down below. I like these a lot. If you like working out, you need that sweat resistance. Uh, you need it to stay in your ears. Uh, this is going to be a really, really good option. And of course, you also get USB-C cable and some extra ear tips and a blue sticker. Oh, look at that. All right, next. Oh, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, this is something I was excited for, actually. So we've got the Momo, the Momo. This, <laughs> it looks like two O's, the Momax Airbox Go. Now, I was actually really, really excited to get my hands on this because you, you guys know me. I, I love like all-in-one charging solutions. I saw my boy Danny Winget post about this forever ago. So I bought it because it looks cool. Got some paperwork here. So let's take a look at it, right? Whew. Hands are fast, man. <laughs> and it also, let's see. Oh, I think it probably comes with a USB-C cable too. This is a nice film cable, rubberized. How many milliamp hours is this? So it's 10,000 USB-C PD, 20 watt. So you can fast charge your iPhone if you wanna plug it in. 15 watt wireless charging. I like the quality of this. This is where you charge your Apple Watch. Hold on, this thing moves. What is this? What's happening? Oh, snap. You could just put like your, your AirPods in there or something. So you put your AirPods in there. Oh, you can see my AirPods underneath are charging now. Oh, you can see the light. Yeah, so it's like got a little slit so you can see that. So if you want to just keep your AirPods in here and let them charge, they're not no risk of it falling out. You can store your AirPods in here in your backpack or something. I like it. Throw your iPhone up here, MagSafe. So you have your AirPods, you throw your iPhone on top. It's also charging and all your things are charging. It's doing what it's supposed to do. Now, the only thing, the only flaw is that it's really expensive. It is $200. But, but you guys feel it though. It actually feels pretty high quality. It feels very premium. Yeah. Jay? It doesn't look high quality. I guess feels, the gloss. It feels high quality though. It absolutely. Is that like, actually metal? Oh yeah. Oh, that's actually metal. Yeah. Oh. It's premium. 10,000 though. That's the only thing that's like, like I got this this guy right here, it's just 24. But all my devices don't attach to it and charge wirelessly, so it's give or take. Which would you pick? If you're an Apple user, you're picking between the two. If you're Android, then it's the only option. Oh, so we've got another GameCube controller or a Switch controller. You got this, Dom? I think so. Interesting. It's way bigger. This is just a normal stick. This is not like the C-Stick. I like how clicky this is though. But now what's interesting about this one is you can take this off and put it right on your switch. Oh, and they illuminate. Whoa, I like that. 
and they rumble. We were talking about that the other day, like most of these controllers don't rumble. Dang, but this makes it super wide. Oh, but you have to get used to the button placement. This is completely different. Oh, and they have buttons over here too. That's interesting. There's a lot of good and a lot of weird, but I kind of like it. All right, no more GameCube stuff, guys. And no more Switch stuff. What's going on here? Hodo Portable Electric Air Compressor. Oh, I think basically, you want to pump some tires or something. This is a portable air compressor. It's super small, compact. This is cool. It kind of reminds me of the battery that we oh, opened I was up. I gonna say it looks like the v battery. Yeah. You peel this thing off. So yeah, you can do a basketball, bicycle, a scooter, car, all of that. Oh, it's got no juice. So while it's charging, let's open up that last box and then come back to this. All right. Let's uh, open up this package before we go back there. And here we have... Da, da, da. Hold on, hold on. Got a cut more tape. Hey. All right, and here we have... Da, da, da. The yellow iPhone. It's here and it's ready for summer. Uh, did you guys know about the new yellow iPhone? Everybody was talking about it for like a day. Can I see how it looked with the case on? So this is yellow. This is the green Carl that you're yeah, in the scene. I get sunflower vibes from this. It's usually after like six months of dropping the current iPhone, you'll see like a refresh. And um, this time they only went for the 14. Usually we see it for like the pro models, but for those folks out there who don't need the pro, they got the refresh this time. Now let's see if that air compressor has any juice. So you can set the, so you have a dial here so you can set the PSI that you want. So for my car, I'd probably go like this. Okay, what's this? There's a flash. Oh, the flashlight built into it too. So when you're out at night and you know you gotta fill up your tire, you can't see, turn the flashlight on. That's cool. Can I use it to jumpstart my car? No? It's not that kind of device, bro. Oh. <laughs> All right, so that about wraps it up, guys. Let's. Let's talk about some of our favorites, shall we? Jay, favorite, go. Come back to me, come back to me. Okay, okay, Dom, favorite thing, go. I kinda wanna go for the air pump. This, this guy right here. Yeah. yeah, you. I was thinking about the controllers earlier, but no, I'm going with this. All right, fair enough. Favorite, uh, that YouTube thing. The, the thing YouTube sent you. <laughs> all right, all right. Jay? High ground, mousepad. The high ground? I'm not a Gundam fan, but. I, I like that product. Jay, you gotta go, bro. <laughs> you said the wrong <laughs> words, bro. But okay, that's that's fair enough. Uh, I think my favorite thing is the, 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 dang, what's it called? I keep thinking fanny pack, which is so, <laughs> so annoying. It's not a fanny pack. The sling, yes. Jay, Harry. But yeah, I think my favorite thing is the sling. But that about wraps it up, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. I'm glad to be back doing more content pretty soon. We're gonna be moved over to the new studio. We're super pumped to start videos there. If you guys didn't see like the empty house tour of that, we'll have it linked down below for you guys to check it out. But we're gonna have a new spot, you guys. You won't be seeing this much longer unless we gotta do something at home. But I'm excited, and you should be too. Till the next one, guys, your average consumer. Peace. I'm gonna put my switch in this. Okay, Jay, I get it. <laughs>